in all of these structures, the central nervous system, the and it's along the primitive streak that meanwhile and simultaneously uh, the dorsal ectodermal cells are proliferating rapidly and they start to push downward and they start to fill the middle layer of this rapidly thickening uh, trilaminar disc and the cells proliferate quickly and they start to pile up on both sides uh, of the neural tube symmetrically uh, to the left and to the right of the neural tube and this eventually becomes uh, what we refer to as the mesoderm now the mesoderm is then going to separate out into three distinct areas number one is the paraxial mesoderm that becomes the future somites and We'll talk uh, more about the uh, somites here in just a moment. Next to the paraxial mesoderm is the intermediate mesoderm. That becomes the future kidneys. And then more lateral uh, even to that is the lateral plate mesoderm. This becomes the parietal and visceral layers uh, of mesoderm, which eventually forms the body wall lining uh, and the linings of the viscera uh, the heart and the lungs respectively then simultaneously uh, while the neural tube is developing and for those of you that have the PowerPoint presentation no. and recall that the sclerotome is closest to the neural tube so that's the mesoderm meanwhile uh, back at the ectodermal cells the uh, ectoderm and the neural tube continue to uh, enlarge and differentiate and ultimately uh, the ectodermal cells differentiate into the structures of interest to our discussion today uh, such as the central nervous system uh, ectodermal cells develop into the peripheral nervous system uh, they develop into the sensory epithelium of the ear of the nose and of the eye uh, eventually uh, gives us parts of the epidermis and the integumentary system such as the hair and nails uh, and gives us also the subcutaneous glands of which we mentioned several of those earlier uh, and including uh, the breast the glands uh, of the breast the neural crest cells uh, continue to develop and give us uh, structures also of importance including uh, all sensory afferent fibers that have their cell bodies in the dorsal root ganglia uh, of all all spinal nerves and also of cranial nerves 5, 7, 9, and 10. Uh, the neural crest cells give us the sympathetic chain, uh, the peripheral ganglia, and also the adrenal medulla. And we'll talk more about uh, uh, sympathetic pre and post ganglionic uh, autonomic fibers here as we go along. Neural crest, crest cells give us uh, Schwann cells uh, and the glial cells in the central nervous system. They give us the melanocytes and uh, give us lots of different structures all of which originally came from uh, the uh, dorsal ectoderm. 